everyone, Carson here, and in this video, I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick Google VPS review. Now, before we do get into this review, just a reminder to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because I post all the time and you don't want to miss out. But now, let's go ahead and get into this video. Now, Google's cloud hosting is more of an infrastructure as a service and not a VPS. Google, which everyone knows, no one needs an introduction to Google. If you're watching this video, you're on Google. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but Google actually offers hosting services. On a very basic level, Google calls this Google Sites. It's been used by the educational and government sectors for a very, very long time to just create super simple websites. At the moment, they are not trying to compete with any other web hosts though. And they're actually trying their hand in the infrastructure as a service industry. Now their VPS host or their infrastructure as a service, whatever you wanna call it, it's basically the same thing in this context, is heavily based on the Linux operating system. Now the Google Cloud has pretty good performance overall. For example, in a side-by-side -side comparison, the Google Cloud has actually outperformed a company named Rackspace, which is rather well known for providing similar services. Google also has a very nice pricing calculator, which lets you bill in the minute. So with all of their fancy algorithms going on, Google will actually bill you in minute level increments. For example, they define a month as 720 minutes, and if you use the entire month, you would be using 720 minutes. If you are benchmarking for that amount of time, that's what you will be charged for. Now, here come the downsides though. When you purchase their infrastructure as a service package, the prices are not the best. It starts at $6,000 a year minimum, which is really, really not the best. Now it does include a bunch of public and private subnets, two arranger VMs, and access to of course firewalls, gateways, and routers, which are easy to set up. And the nice benefit is navigating your way around the Google Cloud doesn't require a background in information technology or being a professional web host or web host consultant like I am. However, in the end, I actually don't recommend this platform for a majority of my customers, simply being for a few reasons. Number one, it's a lot more complex to set up than some of the alternatives. It's not that easy to use, even though you don't technically need a background in IT or web hosting, it's not as straightforward and intuitive, which means if you're not good at computers, this is not the one for you. The next big issue is of course the price. The pricing is not as good, although the pricing is very good for the amount of resources you get. They don't offer small subcategories of resources. They also only have three data centers, which can be a bit of a downside if you're wanting fast loading times in multiple places. Because of all these problems with the Google Cloud, I actually do recommend going with another VPS host instead. Some of the top VPS hosts I recommend are Bluehost and HostGator. Bluehost for just overall performance and ease of use, ranking in my number one VPS host of 2021, and HostGator coming in a close second for the cheap prices. So if you are looking for a VPS host, I would actually suggest using one of these instead of the Google VPS. I feel like these systems overall actually do a better job than Google currently does. Keep in mind, Google is primarily a search engine business. They aren't built for web hosting or infrastructure as a service or VPS, any of that. That's a new field for them and they're still fleshing it out and it's also mainly for bigger corporations. Now, if you do wanna check out Bluehost or Hostinger, go ahead and use my link in the description because I actually am offering a special discount currently for both of those platforms. So check that out. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like, subscribe and hit that notification bell and I will see you in the next video.